welcome to today's worship hour and you're welcome to Blue Music Ministry. Our Divine Mondays as a ministry to preach God's word to the lost through God-inspired music, edify believers through scripturally sound music, raise and deploy seasoned ministers of God in music through service. Your being here is not by chance but carefully orchestrated by God for your spiritual growth and development into an active believer in kingdom service. As you fellowship and serve with us at Grow Music, God will meet your every need and godly desire according to his word in Psalm 37 verse 4, which says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Amen. Before we go into worship, we're going to study God's word. Pray right now, asking the Lord to speak to you. Asking the Lord to speak to you that your life will be changed by this word. I will also impact others around you. Lord, we thank you for this time in your presence. And we thank you for your word that is coming to us. Your word that is going to transform our life and transform others that are also close to us. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord for another week. It is worship hour. We're here to worship the Lord at the beginning of another week, knowing that as we lift him up, he will set everything on course for the rest of the week. And we are here to worship him, not for what he will do for us. We are here to worship him in love, knowing who he is to us. We've been looking at the vision, the need to study the vision. In Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2, it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. This has been our theme scripture or a focus scripture for the season, and we just themed to run with a vision. And in running with a vision, we ought to steady the vision, and we've looked at steadying the vision in relation to the word of God today. It's the second time we are uh, focusing on this. We have learned that until we have read to the point of understanding what we have read, it will not benefit us. So we uh, keep reading and studying the word of God in relation to the vision, every vision and what details it has, every vision and what the Lord, uh, the Lord's intent revealed in scripture, peculiar to the vision. So it's important that we discover that in the word of God and then we constantly study it. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, we've learned to study to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And we've also learned in Joshua 1, verse 8, uh, that the book of the law must not depart from out of our mouths, but we are supposed to meditate therein day and night, that we may as observe to do according to all that is written in it, for that is when our way shall be made prosperous. He said, we shall make our way prosperous, and then we shall have good success by meditating upon the 
word of God in relation to the vision. So if we want to prosper under the vision, we have to study the word of God in relation to the vision day and night, that consistently. And we've also seen in Psalm 1 verse 2 that our delight must be in the law of the Lord and we must delight, we must delight in the law of the Lord and we should meditate upon it day and night. So we ought to study the vision uh, study the word of God in relation to the vision, oh sorry, study the vision in relation to the word of God, ensuring that that which God has revealed in his word concerning the vision is what is implemented. Now, today we must have this understanding that there is a cause for every vision and it can be located through meditation or prayerful study. So, uh, here, another rendition of meditation here is to study prayerfully. To study prayerfully. We know that the Spirit of God is here to teach us, to guide us into all truth. One of the mandates of the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. And so we cannot study the Word of God in relation to the vision without the leading of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, and that's why we ought to pray. Praying that the Spirit of God will guide us as we study his word in relation to the vision. In John 18, 37, Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou seest that I am a king. To this end I was born. And for this cause came I into the world that I should bear witness unto the truth. For everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Jesus um, expounded the truth that there is a cause. There is a cause. Every vision is brought about to uh, for a purpose for a cause for a cause there is a cause for every vision in Luke 2 in Luke chapter 4 verse 16 scripture says and Jesus came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read so this wasn't the first time he was doing that it was his custom and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, and to set out at liberty them that are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord and twenty, and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister and sat down, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fasting on him. There was a cause, a prophecy uh, in scripture by the prophet Isaiah, and it uh, indicated a cause, and Jesus came onto the scene to fulfill that cause. Every vision fulfills a certain cause per time or per season according to God's timing or his program on the earth. Uh, so the vision of glow music is to fulfill a certain cause for the end time. And like Jesus saw it in scripture that which had been written and then he read it the same way we also have to see or that which the Lord has revealed unto us. We ought to definitely go by it, keep studying and studying and studying and in prayer. And the Lord, as he fulfilled the purpose of Christ on the earth, our purpose as a ministry will continue to be fulfilled on the earth. To give him all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. time to worship. Let's first of all thank the Lord for the opportunity to sing songs of worship to his name right now. Speak to the Lord right now. 
Thanking him for this opportunity to sing songs of worship to his name, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity that you have given it to us to sing songs of worship to your holy name this evening. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. You are worthy of all of our praise, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Also, pray asking the Lord to forgive you of any known and unknown sins. As the Lord to bless you with this blood, Lord, we thank you for it. Also pray right now, forgiving anyone who has offended you in any way right now. Speak to the Lord and release them from your heart right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, anyone, I forgive anyone who has offended me in any way right now. I release them from my heart this minute in the name of Jesus. Let go of every offense in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you and I give you all the praise, Lord, for this release in our lives in the name of Jesus. Give you all the praise, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, let me pray to our Father in heaven to accept your worship as we sing songs of worship to him right now. Speak to the Lord right now. Lord, we pray that as we come before you, you accept our worship as we sing it to you. Let us sing from the depths of our hearts, Lord. Accept our worship this again. Lord, we thank you for this time. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Psalm 100 verse 3. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So that is why we are here. That is why we want to worship that he made us. He made us for himself. He made us for purpose. Therefore, Psalm 96 verse 9, O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Because he loves the things we are paying for our kids and our children, and his blood is constantly speaking to us. Thank you. 
Thank you.
1 verse 8 I am Alpha and Omega the beginning and the ending saith the Lord which is and which was and which is to come the Almighty the Lord is the beginning and the end let's worship the name of the Lord and give him all the glory Jesus Lord we worship you we give you all the glory you're worthy of our adoration. You're worthy of all of our praise. You're worthy of all of our thanks. We worship you, our El Shaddai. We give you all the praise, Jehovah Nisi. We worship you, our King and our Ruler of the universe. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We give you all the praise, Lord. We worship your name. We give you all the glory, in the name of Jesus. You are worthy of praise, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. 
8 then he answered and spake unto me saying this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel saying not by might nor by power but by my spirit saith the Lord hallelujah Amen. we cannot run with the vision by our own strength as we worship may the Lord strengthen us by his Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Amen, Amen.
heart. You are worthy. You to do whatever he wants with us because he's the rewarder and so he measures what warrants your reward so we know that is to do what you want to do not what we think is right hallelujah 
only Jesus can save only Jesus can rescue man from sin regardless of whatever you try to do it's only Christ the blood of Christ Jesus the sacrifice that he made which can deal with the sinful nature of man maybe you have tried so many ways you try to do good you tried several religions you tried various ways to get closer to God you sense this vacuum in your heart today I'm here to let you know that Jesus is the only way the truth and the life there's that void in your heart that no woman can fill no man can fill no no amount of money can fill only Jesus can fill that void in your heart today I submit to you my Savior and Lord Jesus the one who has saved us all and who can grant you access to eternal life by granting you uh, your relationship back to our Father in heaven if you believe in faith confessing him as Lord over your life you will never be the same again and you will experience this newness of life that only our Creator the possessor of heaven and earth can give just say these few words after me say Lord Jesus today I stand before you a sinner unable to save myself I thank you for keeping me to see this day of salvation I'm here to surrender my life completely and totally to you please come into my heart be my Lord be my Savior be my King the ruler of my life from today and forevermore please grant me your Holy Spirit that I can live a life that is pleasing to you and to you alone in Jesus mighty name have I prayed with thanksgiving Amen Amen service prayer contact us via email info at grownmusicministry.com or call or chat with us 3026 0009090 God bless you Amen We are glad that you can fellowship with us today for all those who are here for the first time and those who have not had the privilege to be around for some time we say welcome our mandate as a ministry demands that we propagate God's word through music recordings and distribution, music outreach projects, and the raising and deploying of seasoned music ministers through service. We admonish you to participate in all activities so as to play your role in fulfilling this mandate so that God also plays his role as a doing God in your life. Amen. Amen. Download Amen. scripturally sound gospel music from growmusicrecords.com to edify your spirit. If you'd like to send offerings, tithes, and covenant seeds, you can do so using mobile money. The number is 054-362-7478. Kindly share your prayer requests with us as we believe the Lord for answered prayers. The link is growmusicministry.com forward slash prayer hyphen request. Also send your testimonies to growmusicministry.com forward slash testify. Please take note that we are fasting tomorrow from 6 a.m. 12 p.m. to begin the week please ensure that you join in this spiritual exercise exercise god bless you please be reminded of our bethel encounter bless monday edition tomorrow at 12 p.m join us to pray about issues pertaining to music ministry god richly bless you for joining today's service shall we share the grace the grace, the grace of our lord, lord jesus, jesus christ the, the love of god the sweet friendship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you for joining. We'll meet at 12 p.m. prompt.